J.C. Nichols helped revolutionize the way America thought about cities. His Country Club Plaza and many other projects in hometown Kansas City established a mixed-use concept that still exists today. In recognition of his achievements, the Urban Land Institute and the family of J.C. Nichols created a special award, which highlights the career of someone who's had a significant impact on our communities. The 2005 winner of the ULI J.C. Nichols Prize for Visionaries in Urban Development is Albert Ratner and his company, Forest City Enterprises. It's very exciting to see the kind of accomplishment that has been taken place by an individual, but also to see the power of a family and a collective group of people with shared values uh, for positive change in cities. Forest City Enterprises is now a large and diverse development company, but it began as a Cleveland lumber business in the 1920s, founded by Albert Ratner's father, uncles, and aunt. The company quickly developed a reputation for quality, integrity, and commitment to the community as it survived the Depression and World War II. One policy was one that said anybody who came from the concentration camps would have a job in our business. And we I had an uncle in the hard material business, concrete. And we employed an enormous number of people who would come from the camps. Albert and his brother-in-law, Sam Miller, were given the opportunity to take the business in different directions. They moved quickly from selling garages to developing housing communities to retail developments. Never afraid to try new things, Forest City Enterprises went public in 1960. We always felt that this was a business that was big enough for not only our family members, but all kinds of people and all kinds of family members. Yeah, but we didn't build this large. This large company was built by thousands of employees. Just remember that. Today, Forest City has development projects throughout the United States. It's been a leader in the fight to rebuild America's city centers, beginning with hometown Cleveland. Forest City took on the risky redevelopment of the fading terminal tower, which helped restore a city's pride in its downtown. In many ways, one of his greatest gifts is that he's a contrarian. So when everybody else said uh, the urban markets of America were places you didn't want to be, where there was no opportunity, and the only place to be was in the suburbs, the cities were finished, uh, Albert took exactly the opposite tack. Has taken what everybody thought was the mistake by the lake and turned it into a fabulous downtown, and now they're repeating that throughout the country. I think they believe in cities, they believe in not just following the market, but helping make the market, because they, they believe in what they can do and lead. Forest City is leading the way on several prominent redevelopment challenges, including the Metrotech Center in Brooklyn, New York, and the transformation of Stapleton Airport into a brand new city within a city in Denver, Colorado. I think they have demonstrated by the successes of their projects that mixed-use, dense urban development can not only take place, contribute to a community, but also be economically successful. Forest City Enterprises is a thriving public company with a strong family bond at its core. There's no doubt the leader of that family is Albert Ratner, not that he'll ever take credit for it. One of the things I believe, one of the things I was taught is that there was never a day in my life that I ever did more than what should have been expected of me. That combination of factors of somebody who's been there, who admits mistakes, grows from it and then helps others avoid the same mistakes. It's just a, an incredible asset for a community. Albert Ratner's contribution goes well beyond his company's developments. He helped Cleveland get the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and continues to give generously to a range of charities and community groups with little regard for recognition. Mr. Ratner bought books for the school and then he got volunteers, grandparents like myself, to come in and start a reading class to teach the children how to learn to love to read. And when they completed it, they were given the books to take home. 
My mother had a philosophy, there's no limit to what you can do if you don't care who gets credit. My father had a philosophy that said, if you remember where you come from, you'll always know where you're going. Well, if you combine those two principles, you have not only a good business, you have a pretty good life. The Urban Land Institute and the family of J.C. Nichols congratulate Albert Ratner and Forest City Enterprises, the 2005 winners of the ULI J.C. Nichols Prize for Visionaries in Urban Development. Albert Ratner is truly one of the great developers in America, maybe the world, as well as being a wonderful human being, charitable, civic-minded, and uh, has made significant contributions to America, and particularly great cities in America. I'm glad he's never going to retire. Because <laughs> we don't want to lose him. Don't want to lose him. It's really been a tremendous relationship. I don't want to be remembered for anything. I just want those people whose lives I affected to remember me. And that's fine with me. Because I'm made up of the memories of those people who helped me.